to the crack of dawn. I'm Dawn Lombardi, your host, and we've got Sir Angel on tonight. And Sir Angel, I love your name, by the way. Oh, thank you. I love it. Does it mean angel? Kind actually, of? I've been named after a nun. You were? <laughs> You're yeah. kidding. I can't believe it. It's actually French. It I is? It's Puerto Rican, but it's not. No, 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 no. Really? Yeah. It's French, yeah. I didn't know what. And then, and what about your last name? Rivera. That's Rivera. Puerto Rican, yeah. <laughs> I've, got a, I've got a student, Nathaniel Rivera. Yeah, at Holy yeah, Cross. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know what he is. I can't tell. It's supposed to be Sarange. Sarange? Oh, yeah. Okay, that's like Beyonce's sister, <laughs> right? Solange, yeah. kind of, yeah. sort yeah. of. Yeah, it is French. It is yeah. French. So now, did you. Oh, well. We're gonna paint. Um, we're gonna paint a really cute scene with uh, an umbrella and a lady holding it up, and we're kind of gonna do our our own thing here. Um, it's kind of gonna be like one of those things where people go to those paint nights. You know, a lot of my friends. I went to paint night, and then they hold them all up, and they all look the same. But regardless, it's a lot of fun, and the ladies love to drink the wine and kind of, you know, let everything go and, and take a break. So that's a lot of fun. So we're gonna do something pretty simple. Um, I will sh go a little faster with mine. Let me show you my sketch. She's going to do her own sketch because she knows how to. <laughs> and um, I think I'm hooked up. Yeah, I am. So let me show you mine. Whoopsie. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, it's a lady with umbrella, see? Holding up the umbrella. And then she's got her shoes or boots or whatever you want to put. And then we'll put some rain around her. So it's pretty simple. And it's like one of those little paint nights you go to. So it'll be fun. But she can do her own. And you said you paint, right? Yeah, I do. You do? You can use whatever colors you want. And if you need any uh, extra colors, I got everything, everything. And this is acrylic paint, so you paint with oil. I paint with oil too, but I yeah. stopped. Um, I wasn't selling as much because they don't dry as fast. No, it takes a long time. It takes dry. a long time for an oil yes. painting to dry. Yeah. And then if you have pets that rub against it, yeah. you know, if you even leave the oil painting out, I mean, in my house that would not work. Yeah. So I switched to acrylics, which dry so fast. They're not the same though. But oh my gosh, so now where did you grow up? Did you live around here? I grew up in Bridgeport. You did? You're yeah. kidding. No. Was it nice then? Uh, no, I lived <laughs> in the worst project. Oh, you really did? <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> you did? Yeah, I used to see people getting riots and everything. You did? Yeah. <laughs> God, I can't believe it. Did you have brothers and sisters? I have 10. You do not. Yeah. 10. Yeah. Oh my gosh. God bless your mom. That's my mom amazing. Had 10 and, um, and are you close with all the siblings? No. I mean, probably not everybody's around, maybe. No. I'm not close with none of them. No, none of them. I was close to my brother, but yeah. I'm not close with him anymore. That's okay. Yeah. I mean, having 10 siblings, you can't get along. That's a lot of, a lot of siblings. That's a lot. Were you when the um, oldest, youngest, right in I'm between? The second oldest. I'm gonna do my lady's dress yellow, just because I like that one. You're the second oldest? Yes, I am. God, I can't believe it. And now, um, after, in Bridgeport, what, what brought you to, down to Bristol? My mother moved because it was so bad over there. She the did? The riots were so bad. It really was? I mean, we were, we, we, we couldn't go out of the house. You it, couldn't? It was called Father Panic Village. Was it right near where the ferry is, right before you yeah. get to the, yes, okay, because yeah. I got carjacked there, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Probably your neighbor. Huh. Yeah, I ran over him, though. I didn't, I didn't kill him, but he, he, I came to the stop sign because the fair, I was trying to get on the ferry and I missed the turn. Uh -huh. And I asked a guy, oh God, I'm nervous wreck around this area. And he goes, don't worry about it, just keep driving and you'll make it to the ferry. And I came to a stop sign and a guy put his hands right on my foot of my car and said, get out of the car. Really? And I just drove. Yeah, I definitely hit him. I don't, it definitely didn't kill him, but I just, yeah, I panicked and I just drove. He bolted uh -huh. out of the way. Yeah, after, <laughs> But I mean, it's scary, right? It is. Do you scary. ever go back to visit there, or not even worth it? I, I've been. You a probably have friends, times, right? But no, I don't have no friends. Uh -uh. I, I was little when my mother moved. Really? Um, yeah, we moved to Wallingford. Oh, Wallingford's very yeah. nice. Oh, yeah. that's a huge difference. Did you like Wallingford? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. I'll show you mine. Just, and she can do hers however she wants. I'm doing a yellow dress on mine, and you know, as you can see, while we get going, you'll be able to see that. So then Wallingford, which is kind of kind of woodsy, right? It's kind of near Durham. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I liked it there. You did? Yeah, I go there a lot. You do? Yeah, I see my foster mom. You do? Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. And so now you have a show on Nutmeg TV. Yeah. And I've seen it. And I was going to ask you, what brought you to uh, start your show? Mine was basically just, right, teaching people how to paint and showing people that you don't really have to be great at it to, to like it and have, and have fun. It's just, but how did your show come about? Okay, I, I've been sexually abused as a child. 
Really? For um, maybe about three or different, four different kind of men. Yeah, okay. And so I want to take what, what screwed me up my life up and turn it around and help other girls. So I use the Lord to help. I love that. <laughs> it's so nice. Where's our box of Kleenex? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. So what, who was your driving spirit? It was a God, right? It was the Lord. God, yeah. So it was, okay. Yeah. I yeah. see that a lot with, um, I don't know, I see a lot, cause speaking of coach he was just on, but I see it a lot with um, a lot of sports, basketball players especially. Uh -huh. Yeah, they're always, you know, really into, that's amazing. And did you go to a p particular church? I go to Higher Ground Christian Church in Bristol. Oh, I've Pastor heard of that. Pastor Gary DeBrosa is my pastor. That's who it is? Yeah. That's so He's nice. He's an ex-drug addict, heroin addict. He is? Yeah, That's he came that... from prison to pulpit. He did? Yeah, he's an awesome pastor. God, I'm telling you, this is great. <laughs> I love hearing this stuff. So you didn't really get into trouble though, right? Mm -mm, not yeah, I really. used to do drugs you and did? stuff. You did? Really? Yeah, because of the hurt and stuff like that. Yeah, well you didn't know any better. I mean, you're being just abused, you, yes, you, don't, you don't know, know anything. You don't know how to love no, you don't. or be in love because, first of all, you don't even know how to love yourself. No, you don't, right. And so I had to learn all that. So being that I was in that kind of situation, I got into drugs and yep. alcohol and everything. You wouldn't like notice because you look perfect. God. Not anymore. <laughs> and then how did it, how did you crack the cycle? Did it, did, did it just, you started going to church or you always went to church? I, I was this mad particular... at God. Yep. Yeah. Because <laughs> he took my, my mother died when I was really young. She did? Yeah. And that's when you went to foster care? No, um, this lady yeah. raised me up because I used to go stay with her so that I wouldn't have to deal with my stepfather. Because my mother's boyfriend, he would be after me awful. all the time. It was awful, plus you're so pretty. That must have been awful. Yeah. Awful. Yeah. Did she even know what was going on? Yeah, I told her. Was she nice about it or she, she just She told me to be him? quiet and don't tell nobody yeah. because um, people would look at me bad. Yeah, oh God. They, you know, it's funny, you, 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 a person that's been abused, they should be able to talk about it. But you can't because people look at you like, oh, how dare that happen? I know, you know, I know, I know. It's awful. Good for you. That's amazing. I can't even believe it, really. Was there one day you just woke up and said, this has got to stop? I've got to change? Well, I just stayed right over her house so that I wouldn't have to deal with her. So she took care of me. Really? Yeah. Was your foster mom great? Oh, she was awesome. Is she still here now? Yeah. She, she is? Oh, God, this is so nice. I go see her all the time. Did she take in your other brothers and sisters as well? No, just me. Just you? Oh, yeah. you must have been glad to be out of there, right? Yeah, I used to go stay with her because oh, that was good. my safe haven. Yeah. Oh, God. And then what brought you to Bristol? Um, I was I was going to a, a church named Tomage and Pastor um, Burt. And I oh. came because I liked the church and I liked their vision, so I started. So I figured, oh, let me come to the church, and that's how I started. And that's how you started. You have tons yeah. of friends at the church. Yeah. Gosh, I love that. Now that's over on uh, Stafford Avenue, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, because that's where I used to teach at the Bristol Senior Center. Oh, really? And I think a lot of people went to that. Yeah, yeah, went to well, that I church. I went there one time to the. The Bristol Senior Center is the most hopping senior center I've ever seen in my life. Not to knock Farmington, not to knock Plainville, <laughs> but uh, just saying. Uh, and I don't know if you have to be. A, I don't know if you probably have to be from Bristol to go there. I have no idea, but it is. It's like literally like a dating it's like the dating game <laughs> it's so funny oh yeah everybody's like having a blast and it's a lot of fun so you t would take a couple courses at the Bristol Senior Center? I just Center? took one and that's when my dog got killed and I stopped what uh, happened to the dog again oh you won't Lily. even believe it Lily uh, she was what, a little Pomeranian? Little Pomeranian. She was my baby. <laughs> just the one dog, that's all she you said, had? I just had that one and dog. And the swearing parrot. She has a swearing parrot. Yeah. But it's not her fault, because the kids <laughs> would play basketball outside, and they'd swear, and the parrot says everything. Yeah. I want an African gray parrot. He picked it all up. <laughs> Don't they live long, too? Like, you, you know, I had one of those parakeets for like 20 bucks, and it just dies. But those birds live longer, right? They I mean, live to be 60 years to 70 years old. Do you have to worry about taking care of them like perfectly? Or, or is it like, um, those parakeets just die. I don't know why. Um, you it's have like to fish. be careful. Wait, you can't use Teflon. Because if you use Teflon, you could kill your bird. OK. What about heat and cold and all that? Uh, it, it, the house can be at 65. It's good. OK, he's OK? Yeah. Um, no, Lord. But like that. if the heat went off and it was freezing, you'd have to go to the nearest hotel and stay with 
Okay. Chi Chi, what's his name? Chirpy. Chippy. Chippy, I love Chippy, he's so cute. So you came to the church in Bristol, then that got you to move to Bristol, right? Yeah. Oh, that's great. I just love that you're helping people. That's yeah. what I try to do, too. You know, I really do. Yeah. Because life's tough, especially for, and you're tr you try to keep the girls off the streets, too, right? Yeah, you're, I work with girls right now. I do counseling, and I do How do you find them? Do you just drive around and look and say, honey, get in the car, please? No, I just, um, they go to my church. They do? And, yeah, I pray with them and stuff. I have a prayer group in my church. Really? Yeah, every other Friday. That's so amazing. So a lot of these girls go to the church. Yeah. That's great. I love that. I love it. We were just uh, talking about uh, Bridgeport, you know, versus Hartford. And, you know, of course, all the cities can be extremely dangerous. But it's like, you know, I never really worried too much in Hartford. Yeah. Uh, you know, because I was a school teacher, so I was, you know, left during the day. But the kids that I taught there said that, yes, I'm like, you do not hear gunshots every night. Every night, yes, really? they said, oh, every that's, night. That's mm -hmm. scary. Yes, it's scary for a kid. And a lot of the kids would say, not all of them lived, you know, in the same area as I'm talking about, but one of them said, we don't keep our couches up against the windows. We keep all our furniture behind, you know, nothing goes near the window. Really? Yeah. Isn't that so sad for kids yeah. to have to worry about that when it they're is. in elementary school? It's crazy. What's the youngest you've seen for the streetwalker girls? Like, how young will they do it? Um, they they could be as young as 10, 13, 12. Oh, they yeah, can? Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, I've, I've dealt with, with girls that young. I can't imagine. I really can't. God. And so your church is on Sundays? Do they have, like, other little potlucks and stuff going on sometimes? Sometimes, yeah. It's on Sundays. It's like we're trying to get a bigger building. We outgrew the building. Oh, how fun. And one day you want to get a house to house these girls? Yeah. So that they can live there and not have to worry about having a man to take care of them uh, or anybody. Not have to prostitute. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of right. I didn't realize that that... You never know what someone else is going through, right? Yeah, you don't. No, you don't. Did you ever feel like anybody knew what you were going through? Like any neighbor ever said, like, honey, come in here if you need anything? Or did you just feel stranded? I just felt stranded. I'm doing a little gray on the top of my black umbrella. Uh, okay, so it I looks like, like the light's hitting it, but yeah. you know, you can do what you want. And sometimes when I start doing rain and stuff, I just, I'm gonna go like this. And I mean, I might go over it a lot, uh, okay. but as long as you're not going rain this way, because <laughs> rain would not go that way. It uh, usually goes straight down, straight down, unless it's like totally. Yeah, and you don't have to do it like I'm doing it. You can do whatever you want. Or you can make the whole background different. I love it. Let me show you how mine's doing. Ready? It's a cute little lady with a raincoat. Oh. And then someone the other day said, pass me the skin color. I was like, are you kidding me? No. Yeah, pass me the skin color. I was really? like, what? <laughs> well, they, they mean it nicely, but it's like, you know, if you even tried to make my skin color, it's like, I don't even know what color I am. I'm kind of purple, you know? I'm not dead, but I'm, I'm kind of like purpley <laughs> pink. <laughs> and so how about um, your parents? Are they front, were they American? From? Uh, yeah, both from Puerto Rico. They are? Really? Yeah. yeah. Hablo yeah. poquito. Yeah. Except Chiquito. when they go fast. <laughs> now, do you ever visit Puerto Rico or no? I've been wanting to go. I haven't Me been too. there since I was um, seven. Seriously? Yeah. Yeah. And you can speak it perfectly, right? No problem. I, I can't read it or write it, but I can speak, speak it. Speak it easy? Yeah. yeah. No problem. If someone no problem. comes up to you and says, what's up, or where's the local no thing? Problem, yeah. Really? Yeah. That's amazing. I love that. What about the parrot? Does he know anything in Spanish? So he loves reggaeton. He does? <laughs> yes. He, he sings, does? He sings Feliz Navidad. He does? I, I want a parrot. So you never worry, like, something's going to happen to the parrot? No. No, because I make sure I don't use, like, I won't turn, I won't clean my, I can have a self clean oven, I won't use it. No, because you can't I, do the tip, yeah, you can't yeah. do that. Yeah. And then what does he eat? Just you just fill up his dish just we'll like with see, whatever. He, he loves chicken. He does? <laughs> I can't believe the bird. Is it expensive to own the bird now, right? Uh, just no. to buy him. No, just to buy him. But there's a place in um, Middletown where it's pet society and they foster birds. They do? I can't yeah. believe it. Ten minutes left, we love it. Ten minutes last so long though, don't you notice with your show? You're yeah. like, oh my gosh, I don't have any more no, time, but you've got to last. By. 
flies by. It flies by. I noticed that. Yeah, it flies by. Now, Same here. I, I when I first started doing the show, it was an hour show. <laughs> that was long. I was like, that I was is dying. long. Yeah, that's I was long. Dying. That's like the last show with Kochi. It's like we could have gone probably into another episode, but I'll just have him back. You know, because we like to do it quick here, and. Uh, you know, and you can go online and find, like, that's what I kind of did. I went online and looked for, like, like little easy paintings to start. And, you know, it's fine. Oh, well, I can't only paint this. It doesn't matter. She's an oil painter. She paints oil paints. So it's like, you know, and you think the paints are expensive. Yes, they can be. But there's ways around it. You know, I live right next to Blick. And uh, I'm there all the time. I mean, I love it. I just bought seven canvases for 20 bucks. That's great. That means That's they're, not bad. I can't really do math, but three times seven is 21. So they're like three bucks, of, less than $3 a canvas. So, you know, so if you buy seven of those and you whip up some, some of these for Christmas and give everybody a little present, then you don't really have to go out and spend a whole bunch of money. You give someone like a little gift of love. That's true. It's very nice. People like that. I bet the girls that you work with, too, would like a paint night party. That would probably yeah. be really relaxing for them. Yeah, that would be. And then, um, now in Bristol, uh, you guys have a new mayor, right? Yeah. Think. How's that working out? Good? Mm -mm. We don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know anything anymore. I, I know they had a lady, and now it's gone. She, she used to live right next to me, the She lady. did? Yeah. I have a lot of friends from Bristol because I worked at the Bristol Senior Center for a long time. And I made a lot of friends from Bristol. But Bristol's big. Yeah, it is. And then when I'm doing mine, see, I just, I'm just taking whatever I want. I'm taking some yellow and putting it over here. Uh, okay. You know, we want it to look abstract in the background and so that she pops out. So your background can be whatever you want. Oh, okay. It was kind of messy in the one I was copying, so I'm just kind of like doing the same thing. But, you know, it's a lot of fun. And then your show every two weeks, too, you film? Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Every two weeks. I love that. And then, do you get a lot from Father? What's the uh, pastor's name again? Pastor Gary DeRosa. Yeah. Have you ever had him on? He should come on. Oh, he's come on, but he has. Had, yeah, I had him. I had tapes on him. The only thing is, he's awesome. Uh, he hasn't gotten the vaccine, so he can't come here. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's her, I don't mind. I though. had his wife on. You did? Yeah. That's she, so fun. She did it. Um, Where did they meet? I wonder. Oh, he met her in school where he, he always jokes around and says, she used to, she used to chase me. <laughs> really? That's what he says? That's so yeah. cute. And they're adorable, so she comes to, does she do any of the uh, church stuff or whatever? Yeah, she does. Um, he That's comes great. to, Good um, you have that. he comes to, um, he came and did a couple shows for me. I love it. And I taped some of the service at the church. Oh, I think that's so nice. Do you have an organist or something? No, piano. You have um, a piano? I actually have this girl, she's named um, Anna Marie, which I love her. She's very beautiful voice. Really? She does? Oh, yeah, God, she's supposed beautiful. to come on my show. I oh, you'll have her on. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's so much fun. And every Sunday you go? That's when it is? Yeah. Sunday? yeah. Every Sunday and Wednesdays they have service. They do? That's so and nice. Sometimes they do a women's thing. That's so nice. Now, what happened during COVID? Did they have to shut down the place? He didn't shut down. He didn't? No. He doesn't care. No. No, he doesn't. He says I he love that. Well, hey, you know what? You need to worship if you have to. Yeah. It's sort of like someone with an AA meeting or something. You know, you got to go. You got to figure it out and go. Yeah. Online is tough for, for things. That's really tough. I'm so proud of you. That's amazing that you came all this way. It came through so much hurt and so much stuff, and you turn it around. Just like, I, now I can see why you like that pastor. Yeah, I love him. He, I love it. He's awesome. I love it. I like the lady that you said you visited before you got here, Jenny. Oh, Jenny. Yeah, God. how do you know her? I love it. She paints. I, I, Pointillism. Uh, I, I take, I, sometimes I go take care of her. No, I haven't in a while. But yeah, but sometimes you'll just check on her or whatever? Yeah, she needs, I used to take care of her before. You did? Yeah, bathe her and help her. Like oh, that's that. so nice. I love taking care of people. So, yeah, yeah, I know. That's, well, you know what? You turned everything around and, and made it work for, for everybody else. Instead of, well, that's amazing. That's amazing. Now, did you ever leave Connecticut and live anywhere else, like New York or anything? No. No. No, I would love to go to Florida. How about kids? Do you have any kids? I have two daughters. You don't. Yes, you do yes. have two daughters. I can't believe it. Really? Seven granddaughters. You do not. 
You have seven granddaughters, not one boy. Not one boy. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Who's the youngest? Two? Uh, my Teen. youngest is Rachel. How old oh, is she? Oh, no, my youngest granddaughter, yeah. she's eight. Her name is Aaliyah. Oh, I love that name. And then, my friend Lila has a girl, Aaliyah. Hi, Aaliyah. <laughs> yeah, we love Aaliyah. And then um, my oldest daughter, Esmeralda, she's named after my mother. I love Esmeralda. Oh, really? I yeah. love that name. And then I got Rachel. She's going to school to be a, a respiratory therapist. Now. Wow, really? That's yeah. great. She's a granddaughter, too? I mean, a yes. She's a daughter. She's the daughter? Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, she's And your daughters didn't have any of these problems. You made sure that they were just away from everything of this, right? Yeah, tried I tried. Your best. The father raised them up for a while. Yeah, well, you have to, right? It's too yeah, hard. Yeah. Good for you. That's so great. Do they have a close relationship with their dad still? No. No. We don't even <laughs> talk to them. No. It's like, it's like <laughs> you say you something nice. Them. Yeah. I can't believe all the stuff you've been through, and it's, she's so <laughs> happy all the time. If you've ever watched her show, it's like so enlightening and so happy. There's a lot of shows on Nutmeg TV. There's yeah. a lot of shows. But hers is so inspiring, and it just makes you feel like when you get through an episode of her show, you'll feel like, you know, what am I talking about problems? You know, everybody yeah. thinks like, oh, God, I can't believe my kid didn't get into this school, or I can't believe this. It's like, God, there's so much worse. I love watching your show, too. Oh, I'm so glad. Now, sometimes what I'll do is I'll go in with a pencil, uh -huh. just because. Now, you don't have to. But sometimes I'll just put some more rain going down like this. And a lot of kids, they'll say, Mrs. Lombardi, what are you doing? You put rain. I'm like, well, yeah, uh, the rain is going to go everywhere. Even though she has her umbrella on, it's still going to go behind her. It's not going to go on her. So these are like really fun paintings. We probably have like five more minutes, maybe even two. Um, oh, I can't believe it. I'm so, I hope we get to hang out again, too. Yeah, I love I it. To do this We're probably thing. like the same age, 51, right? Yeah, I'm 66. She's 60. <laughs> Shoot. Way off, really? Yeah. Did you have like Botox and work done? No. No, no injections? No. Oh, God! <laughs> you know what it is? <laughs> So when I used to work in Hartford, I was like, why does everybody look so young around here? And they would say, black don't crack. And I thought it was hilarious, because I was like, oh my god, what does that mean? And they're like, well, we have better pigment than you. We age better. I'm like, oh, yeah, I, I guess. But it is. That's why everybody wants to be tan. You know, I got my girls at, at Holy Cry, and my paper white girls, like my boy, they're always wanting to be tan. Because yeah, you look younger. I can't believe it. All, going all through that, and you look so good. Whose looks did you get your mom's? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I have. She a, must have been a pretty lady. Two daughters, and they're they're half German Jew because her father's German. They are. German. Yeah. You're kidding. <laughs> so they've got lighter like they're very hair. Light. Yeah. They are. What yeah. about hair? Yeah, hair. Hair is um, light. Yeah, light. Oh my God! Can't believe it. I'm so excited. And sure, you're just plugging right around. So next time I feel depressed, I'm just going to turn on your show again. I usually mm -hmm. don't get depressed though. I just try to avoid it. But you know what? Everybody has. You know, depression is such a bad thing now, isn't it? It is, it is. Like, I get so nervous. And I deal with a lot of people with depression. It's so Depression can be, like, an awful thing. Even, like, you know, when we got two minutes. It seems like a lifetime, though, when you're sitting it here. Is. It's like, you know what I mean? I usually, I used to say, like, let's wrap it up. The crack of dawn, it's over. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, wait. I've got, like, tons of time left. To look at it like a song, you know, songs, like, four minutes long. I wish it was longer. I know, but an hour, <laughs> an hour. We can, but it's so much fun. And then I can have you on again. I'll go on your show. We can paint, paint on awesome. the side. I can come to your house. I want to meet the parrot. That sounds awesome. I love the parrot. I think he's so cute. How old is he now? He's 14. He is? And yeah. they really last longer than we will. Yeah, he's a freshie. He... <laughs> Where did you live with the basketball courts? Bridgeport? No, at Dutton Heights in Bristol. It was? <laughs> I love that. That's so funny. Like, always liked the birds that talk. You know, you go into the, bird, the pet store and you always see a big colorful parrot and you're like, hello, hello, and he says nothing. All oh, he does is climb and poke. This in, in Middletown does pet society. Yeah. And you can foster a bird. You can? Yeah, and if you want to adopt it, you can adopt you it. You can? Yes, you can. Where did the birds come from? Uh, they people like me or people like uh, older people. Oh, right, because the bird lives so long. And oh, they yeah. Have them and, people, and if you get along with 
the bird, they give you the cage and everything. You You're can just kidding me. For a little thing, like for 400 I forgot it, like and that's probably because the birds live so long. Yeah. They outlive the owner. That makes so, perfect sense. The price is a lot cheaper than... Yeah. Um, they, oh, the birds are like thousands of dollars. I, I, I paid almost 2000 for Yeah, mine. they're very expensive. I knew that. Yeah. God. Over here, you can adopt one for like $40 or, I mean, like $400. Yeah, With still, the cage and everything. That's not a bad price. And it's a, it's a good companion. He's constantly talking, right? Constantly. Constantly. What about at night? Can you cover him up to shut him up? Yeah, I cover him up. You sometimes. cover him up? I love it. Well, we're wrapping it up, so we're going to turn our paintings around, and we're going to show you, I don't know. Oh, she did a red umbrella. I can see through the canvas. Now, just because we're not done, it doesn't mean that we're going to work on them later, because we can't. And, um, you know, like we were saying, an hour-long episode can be too much. You're just kind of like dragging on, dragging on. So it was great having you on the crack of dawn. I love that you called up, and I'll come on your show one of these days. Yeah, so you can teach awesome. me some scriptures. Yeah. <laughs> so thanks for tuning in for the crack of dawn. I love it, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> great to have you on. Let me see yours. Let's close. Sometimes life just happens. Don't worry. Farmington Motorsports will get you back on the road and at a fair price. From towing to tires, emissions to transmissions. Our ASC certified techs do it all. Farmington Motorsports is a family-run business. We're a Napa Auto Center and AAA approved. We work on all makes and models from preventative maintenance to major repairs. And every repair is backed by our two-year, 24,000-mile nationwide warranty. When life happens to you, don't worry. Farmington Motorsports.